With the release of Systems Toolkit SDK 12.1, a number of new features were added to the 3D visualization. Animations consisting of numerous moving parts, such as this landing gear, can be played forwards and backwards in SDK using a single slider or articulation. This allows a pre-programmed sequence of movements to unfold at any point in an SDK scenario. Here we see a spacecraft with a notional solar array deployment sequence. An SDK user is able to play back this deployment from a single control. In this third-party product called Blender, NASA engineers built a detailed animation depicting the movements of the Mars Exploration Rover upon its arrival. When this project is exported to a GLTF 3D model, the resulting model can load directly into SDK. The SDK user selects a scenario time for the rover deployment, and SDK will reproduce all of the motions needed to get the vehicle stood up. SDK 12.1 also introduced support for skeletal animation systems, seen here with a sample model of a fox. A set of virtual bones inside the model gives its movements a more organic feel. Transitions between different animation cycles are also possible. This floating astronaut model was downloaded from Sketchfab. The skeletal system allows a 3D model to bend and deform. And this is useful not just for arms and legs, but also for flexible hoses and wires, and sails, and things we haven't even thought of yet. A new ocean water surface was added with waves that can move along a ship's hull. This allows for more realistic visualizations of maritime scenarios. Be sure to let us know how SDK 12.1 is helping you improve the visualization quality for your organization.